In this video, we're going to talk about finding sources for your Management 280 semester project. I'm Dawn Emsalem. I am your liaison to business studies, and you can find me if you have questions after this um, practice assignment and presentation by Googling Dawn Salve Library, and you'll find my email, or you can just stop by the library. So what are we doing today? We are going to learn about search strategies and research tools for your Management 280 semester project. We're going to take a little bit of a deeper dive into Statista, which you may be familiar with, um, and also uh, look at Google for um, industry advocacy organizations. We're also going to practice um, all of this uh, doing an online activity where you will hopefully actually find some sources that will be useful for your project. So the first step is to look at your semester paper rubric and the particular information uh, that you're going to find today will help you with examining uh, external opportunities and threats for your SWOT analysis. So we're going to be talking about social, demographic, economic, technological, political, legal, and competitive forces that may affect your um, business and um, the product that you're developing. Um, and these are the tools we're going to be using. And we're going to be looking for forecasts, industry reports, and reports or entries that relate to the um, laws and policies and other changes, tech changes, et cetera, that may affect your industry, the industry w which your product belongs to. So Statista is going to um, help us find, they have lots of reports that their analysts develop, and we're going to dive into them and see how they may help you with this project. Um, and then we're going to look at different industry organizations as well. Um, you may be surprised to learn how many um, industry organizations there are and the type of work they do, lobbying local, state, and federal governments about um, regulations and um, other policies that affect their industries. So with that, let's go to um, the library's homepage and we'll just jump into uh, Statista. So the way we do that is we go to databases A to Z. You can Google Salve Library and get to this page. And then we're going to go to S for Statista and we're gonna scroll down to Statista. And you may be familiar, uh, you can do a search right in here, but I'm going to urge you to look at reports and outlooks. So, um, for example, if we start with outlooks, we look at the consumer market outlook. So this is like a looking into the future. Um, and you can find information about consumer goods. Um, your product may be listed right here. These are broad categories. But if you go to market directory right here, it lists a much more broken down and granular list of products in each division of type of product. So, um, so for example, if you were looking at t-shirts and you clicked on this, um, you would get a consumer market outlook for t-shirts um, with forecasts, uh, in this case up to 2026. Um, you can also change your region from worldwide um, and find the United States in here if you were interested in keeping it more specific to the U.S. Uh, and um, and this will give you specific information um, about t-shirts and the type of uh, different types of um, t-shirts. So this is talking about sustainable apparel um, and a huge amount of, um, of data, um, including, you know, different, these different um, market indicators and so forth, which may be very useful um, to your data and your project. So the next thing that I've, after you look at that, the other thing that you can get is country outlook. So if you're looking for general economic indicators, um, we can just look at the statistic provides worldwide information, but you can also just look at the United States and this is using data from the International Monetary Fund, World Bank, and the Organization for Economic 
and country development, I can't remember what OECD stands for, but um, they uh, these organizations issue reports, which TISTA has compiled into these um, charts. Um, so this is going to give a lot of other information um, about the United States and projections about um, the, the um, economic outlook. And you can also look at d these indicators right here, which um, will give you further reports for the US. Um, so these are all specifically called for in your um, paper. And this can give you um, some data uh, that you will um, probably find useful if you're looking at that. Um, so remember, you scroll down to the bottom and you can get these other reports that are related to um, outlooks for the United States. Um, now let's look at reports as well because um, these may be useful too. So you can get industry reports for your industry and you, I suggest you filter them. So you may choose to filter by region. So we'll go to the US um, and they even allow you in some cases to filter by state. So if uh, you could look, if you're looking at a particular state um, and then you can filter by industry as well, if you would like. So if you have a particular type of industry that you're working with, um, this will give you all of the reports related to that industry. Um, and you will find, for example, if you were looking at something that you were doing sports betting, um, you can get the table of contents right here that shows what is um, in this report, and then you can download the actual report uh, and open it right here. Um, so that's that's just the um, industry out reports. Now you may also choose to get a country report, which will have even different data than the Outlook did. And um, digital and trend reports, consumer reports. Again, um, if you would like, to, you can limit it to the US, which I suggest you do. Um, and then I also um, suggest that you take a look at limiting it by the type of business or um, product that you're working with. Um, so you may be looking at um, e-commerce, for example, and it will tell you what consumers are doing with respect to these different types. And, and here you may look at someone who might be a competitor to your product, um, since these are big companies. Um, so for example, if you were doing like a, a video game streaming service, for example, you could download this report and it would show you some information about what consumers um, are looking for. It gives all of this information about the demographic um, and lifestyle of these consumers that use these types of products. So um, I'm suggesting that you really lean into Statista here and not just do your broad searches, but really browse the different types of reports that are available um, and also outlooks. So that's Statista. Now, the next thing that I suggest you do is look at industry advocacy organizations. So for example, if you're looking for food trucks, um, you may find a food truck association, so that's interesting. And what we're looking for here is I usually suggest we look for policy or advocacy is really what we're looking for. And you may not find what you're looking for on the first page. You do have to kind of click around for a little. So this, is, this isn't actually giving us exactly the information we want. Um, Maybe we want to look at um, who we are or what's this associations over here. If you click on that, this shows us that there are other associations and it could be that food truck regulations are more local in character. So maybe we want to pick one of these and see what kind of issues are affecting food trucks in Washington. Um, so for example, we're still looking for advocacy again. Um, and so we have a link for that. And we see that this doesn't give us a list of, uh, actually it does, 
show some of the issues that they are uh, working on. Um, and so that's one thing. But we also have fact and myth and um, facts. And so obviously this organization is advocating for food trucks. But if you scroll down, you can also see some of the um, the arguments against food trucks and how they respond to them. So while you know this is a bit biased, this does give you a picture of the types of issues that affect this industry. Um, and there are all kinds of associations, advocacy or associations. Um, there's, you know, for example, if you were looking, if your business was a salon, um, or there's the Professional Beauty Association, or if it was a, like, clothing retailer, um, you'll see that there is an association for that. So you'll be able, it's likely there's an association. You may have to get a bit broader um, than, you know, if you're a t-shirt shop, you may be under the Apparel and Footwear Association. Um, but uh, I suggest you do some searching around using different kinds of words um, and the term industry advocacy organization. So with that, I suggest you launch into your online activity and um, see if you can find some resources that you can actually use for your Management 280 um, semester project.